if someone asks what makes me happy and helps release my stress, without thinking twice, my answer would be food. Having something to eat makes most of us happy. But food scarcity and global hunger are among world's leading problems today. When we talk about food, the very first thing comes to my mind is agriculture. In agriculture, to increase the harvest production, identification of plant diseases and pests is essential. So there are many research works conducted to identify diseases or pest infected plants when visible physical symptoms are available. When symptoms can be seen, then the plants may already be infected and the spreading of the disease may already occur. At that stage, the recovery of the plants may be infeasible. Even if recovery is possible, then the cost incurred for fertilizers, fungicides, and other treatments may be higher than the revenue earned from the harvest of the infected plants. That is why we say prevention is better than cure. This is where my PhD research comes into play. It focuses on identifying the diseases in the early stages before plants show visible symptoms. For that, I use computers to see the unseen symptoms for us with computer vision. Humans can only see the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. With hyperspectral cameras, we can capture the frequencies beyond the visible range that gives the beneficial unseen information. You may wonder, aren't there any previous research works conducted with hyperspectral images for plant disease detection? Yes, there are. However, all these studies were conducted under controlled environmental conditions such as inside labs. In our research, we take hyperspectral images in the natural environment with sunlight, illumination, shadows with complex backgrounds. Then we apply image forcing and deep learning techniques to identify healthy and diseased plants. Finally, we expect to develop a generalized model to classify multiple diseases in various plant categories, saving time, cost, and the requirement of on-site expertise. If this becomes successful, it will be another small step towards something to eat for everyone.